Bien. drivers to be uh, one of the concern among many taxi drivers is if I drive at night, where am I going to find passengers? And that's what we are going to cover today. At the end of the lesson, you should get a list of at least two areas of high demand and then you must be able to describe which direction you are going to travel. Now, when the taxi driver first start his shift, This is how we do it. Tuesday night, on Friday night, 6 p.m. to uh, 6 to 8 p.m., 8 to 10 p.m. Where are you? What are you doing at that time stop? You can use the whiteboard here, and then you can use the whiteboard there. Okay. 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 Help yourself to the market here. Tuesday and Friday, what happens? Yeah. Now, so you should have a matrix of four four quadrants, huh? Oh, yeah. Tuesday night six to eight, eight to ten. Friday night six to eight, eight to ten. Where are you? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. 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 Ye
Okay, you have one minute left.
change seat. Have a seat, change seat. Uh. You want to flag the taxi, the taxi come green color, green color, green, eh? change seat. Change seat where? Oh, Chinatown, River Valley. Why all the taxi driver change seat in Chinatown, change seat in River Valley? Do you really think they change seat there? <laughs> Maybe they want to go and eat, you are right. Huh? More likely, they want to make sure that they just want to go to this destination so they are still within the ping pong area. Never heard of a taxi driver interview. The taxi comes, you stop. Hey, okay, why the door cannot open? <laughs> then the taxi driver <laughs> crack the window down. Where you gonna go, I miss? Huh? Never turn on this car, the taxi driver. They ask you first before you tell them. You hop inside the taxi and say, Uncle Chow Chuka, he cannot, he must go already. But he locked the door so you cannot go in. Then he will ask you, huh, where do you want to go? So, uh, sorry, I miss, I got a call job coming up uh, in River Valley. I cannot send you to Chow Chuka. So this is current strategy that some taxi drivers use. Please do note that some of these strategies are borderline, wrong, or totally wrong, like Tao Ting, okay? <coughs> But currently being employed. Now my strategy is called the ultimate destination strategy. On the map of Singapore, you can see the circle part. The circle part is where I call the ultimate destination. Wherever, wherever I am, wherever my passenger brings me to, my ultimate destination is the circular part. Why? Because this circular part is mainly where most, most passengers are. This is a heat map of Singapore generated by one of the apps. It shows this is taken at Wednesday night, 9 p.m. It shows red, red means area of high demand. <coughs> you see that it's similar to where my circle is. That means wherever I, I am at, my strategy is, my thinking is, I'll be going towards this direction. Hence the arrow is pointing. Now, after having that in mind as a taxi driver, wherever I am, I want to head straight to this area. I apply the second level. When I'm doing that, I also think that what are the other high demand areas along the way? So first, I think I want to go this direction. But along the way, I start to apply my second thinking, my second level, okay? Where are the high demand areas? Then I also think of special events and occasions. What are special events and occasions? Special events like JJ Lin concert last week. Right, so where's the high demand at 11 o'clock at night? Stadium. Stadium, that's right. JJ Lin had his con concert at the indoor stadium, right? That means at 11 o'clock when the concert ends, okay, this is the high demand for, for the drivers. So other special occasions. They came to our restaurant. That's right. That's, that's, that's the problem because people do not understand or do not take into consideration special events. Other special events like F1. What kind of consideration is F1? Not just high demand. What do you think of when you think of F1? Roadblock. Roadblock, that's right. Everywhere roadblock. Once you go into that corner, you are stuck taking one hour to come out. Do you want to do that or do you rather spend your time getting passenger elsewhere? You can go around the roadblock. There's taxi, taxis, they allow them to go through the hotel car park from one place and come out the other place. They allow them. But you get yourself stuck. Your one hour, your one and a half hour totally wasted. One passenger cannot cover your cost. So, just to recap, what we want to do is we have an ultimate destination, then we apply the layers, okay? Think of other in-demand areas along the way, other special consideration. What are the other alternate locations talking about. First, we have airport. Airport gives you constant passengers all the time. Is there any any drawback in going to the airport to fetch passengers? Long queue? Long queue, perhaps. You may be in a queue for an hour just to fetch 
one passenger. Then the passenger come on to the, the taxi and say, Uncle, I want to go to Park Avenue Hotel at Changi Business Park. <laughs> five minutes drive. You spend one hour queuing up five minutes drive. So that's that's one, one drawback. Because not every passenger is going to bring you to Jurong East, you know, $35 fare. Industrial parks and flatted factories. Okay, industrial parks and flatted factories are also areas where you can uh, get passengers. Do you work in an industrial park or a factory? Ah, I see. Okay, there are also, also the two big business parks. One to the east, one to the west. On the east side, we have our Changi Business Park, and on the west, we have our International Business Park. What kind of tourist attraction at night for night shift driver? What kind of tourist attraction are we talking about? Night Center. Night Safari. Night Center, <laughs> close a bit. <laughs> night Safari, that's right. What time does Night Safari close? Don't know? Never mind. Find out. This is your homework as a night driver. You must know what time Night Safari is. Ends. Okay, the hint is start coming up from 9 30. 11 30, can go next safari? Yeah, no. okay. because the workers also need to go home now. Ah, so start to think strategically. They finish work. Who finish work? They finish their event. Who finish event? Other tourist attraction? How about the big wheel? Gala. Gala. <laughs> Perhaps. Of course, yeah. Gilang have a lot. What do we have at Gilang? A lot of nice food, right? Yeah, in addition to other things. Supper, supper. Supper, that's Frog right. Frog porridge. porridge. Porridge, porridge. Then you must know, frog leg porridge. Porridge is which lorong. Huh? Lorong 9, lorong 15, lorong, lorong 3. What about the big wheel? Where's that big wheel? Close already? No, it's... Working now, <laughs> it's running now. Uh, although it's in receivership, but it's running now. What's that big wheel? The Singapore Flyer, right? Who goes to, to the Singapore Flyer? Tourists or local? Mix lah, but more more tourists, right? Okay, hotels. Hotels. If you go overseas, chances are you take taxi, right? Easiest, fastest. Yeah, same thing. Tourists come to Singapore, they also take taxi. Yeah, they go. Go back to uh, the airport, go ferry terminal to leave the country. Or they go to local attractions or they go and find food. Drinking and eating places. What kind of drinking eating places? Then see the restaurants in town. Lucky. Your restaurants far, far away. Drinking places like Lucky, Lucky Muhammad Sultan. <laughs> okay. uh, of course, you do know that. You know, many of these places now have restrictions, so the hours are shorter. Like, you go to you go to a club key, later, 4 a.m. only. Last time used to be until 5, 6 a.m. Now it's only 4 a.m., okay? So these are the things that you can think of nearby when you apply your second layer. First layer is your ultimate destination, right? Then you think of nearby locations. See, I have a question. Yes. See, say you are going for passengers late in night, say 4 a.m., 3 a.m., do you also take into consideration safety issues? Like, uh, you know, vomiting, puke, uh, you step like plastic bag, or contingency. Do you do that? Or? You're right. That's very, very good thinking. And if they do that, do you charge them? Now, unfortunately, our law in Singapore do not protect taxi drivers in the sense, unlike laws in Norway or in South Korea, whereby they have a vomit tax, you know, fifty dollars minimum, hundred dollars US. In Singapore, uh, national uh, our union has been uh, petitioning, but uh, I don't know how hard the petition. But I I hope one day we will have this uh, this uh, tax involved. Yes, you do need to have precaution for that. Keep some uh, plastic bag with you. See a passenger on board. First thing, ask the passenger. I provide you a plastic bag. Don't ask the passenger, are you going to vomit? <laughs> What's the answer? No. no. Which passenger is going to tell you that they are going to vomit? No. <laughs> ask, can I provide you a plastic bag? Secondly, if the passenger is totally concussed, don't fetch the passenger alone. Make sure that there's somebody with him. Because you have every right to reject a 
passenger who is called Kaz, he cannot tell you where, where he wants to go. I have a passenger who wants to tell me to go to Tampanese Street 86. There was no Street 86 at that time. Now there is, but at that time there was no Street 86. So I got asked him many, many times. I, of course, on the way, I'm driving towards Tampanese, since he said Tampanese. Finally, finally, he took out his IC and showed me. Huh? He cannot even remember his own address. So I look at that. I say, oh, Tampanese Street 84. Okay, nearby. Then I bring him to Street 84. So make sure that if the guy is concussed, you know, don't fetch him because he can't. Of course, there's a joke that, you know, if you see a naked passenger and then the naked passenger come in, then you keep staring at her, then she said, Uncle, you never see naked passenger? Uncle said, no, I'm just wondering where you keep the money to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay, next. Let's do a quick quiz. Keeping this in mind, okay, because now you are you are passing, you are taxi drivers. You think of these are the areas where all the all the uh, passengers will be at a given time slot. Now let's break it into two groups. This group will take the first three, this group will take the next three. Now, what I want you to think of is what is your strategy? That means the passenger, previous passenger sent you to Pasiris. Now you are at Pasiris. What do you go next? Okay, so this group, you take Pasiris Woodlands to Bayer, this group you take Jurong East Clementi River Valley. Now, note that there's no correct answer in that sense, or there's no wrong answer in the sense. But you think of most efficient, best choice. Okay, uh, let's take two minutes for that. You can just put uh, your answers next to uh, this part, okay? No, 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 no. If you are at Pasiris, where do you go next? If you are at Woodlands, where do you go next? If you are at Kopayo, where do you go next? This is just a reference because you will be thinking that this, these are where my conclusions are. But follow the strategy I taught you. Ultimate destination, first layer. Second layer, you apply alternate destination. You know what else is there? Third layer, you apply what are the special occasions, other events. Okay, let's visit some of the answers. Huh? Let's start with this side. Pasiris, where do you go? Airport. Airport. Yes. Very good. Is there any other location you can go to besides airport? Mm. Nearby, nearby. Changi village. Huh? Changi village. Changi village, uh, you must think carefully because Changi village is a one way. Yeah. One way in, one way out. Of course, you can go the other way very far out. Changi Business Park can. Huh? Changi Business Park. Got a lot of uh, a lot of passengers, people who work late at night. Uh. So besides airport, you also can go to Changi Business Park. Okay, Woodlands. Woodlands, you go to checkpoint. <coughs> checkpoint. Friday night can go checkpoint. Yeah. Friday night. Where do people go on Friday night? I mean, if people who are, yeah. So people go checkpoint. Do they leave checkpoint? Less. Uh. Sunday night. Very good checkpoint. Sunday night. Uh. 
Sunday night before coming from Malaysia, right? Okay, so besides checkpoint, of course you have your Woodlands uh, Industrial Park, uh, you have Kranji Industrial Park, and uh, Thursday night you also can go to Kranji area because there's a big grass area, then you have four-legged animals, right, on Thursday night. Where is that? Horse racing. Her club, uh, Thursday night horse racing, right? You also can go to zoo, not too far. So find you where you go. Obviously, uh, straight, ultimate de destination. <laughs> huh? Orchard Road. Okay, let's look at this side. Jurong East, where do you go? Shopping area, you have Jam, JQ, Westgate, Ting Tong uh, Hospital. Yeah, no need to go too far, very nearby. Bird Park, <laughs> Bird Park night time. Uh, God, uh, some people go there for eating. Yeah, but very, very cute, very little. Wow. If you are adventurous, <laughs> if you are adventurous, you head straight to Tuas. Any taxi go to Tuas at night? No, right? That means anybody who wants to go home from Tuas, they'll be calling you, right? Yeah. You are the only one. Ah, but don't be mistaken, a lot of taxis actually drive into Tuas at night. Clementi, where you go to? Go towards Holland Village, right? Holland Village. Or you go to the bar police area, right? Lots of people finishing, Star Vista. Okay, of course, you can go to Ikea, many people shop there. Eh? River Valley, you go to the Kuei, la, the Robertson Kuei. <laughs> Robertson Key, eh? you go to Clark Key. Of course, you're also very near to town. You go straight to town. So think, the ultimate strategy, first, ultimate destination, apply your second layer, which is alternate location, right? Eh? Apply your third layer. Okay, so this is a general strategy you can do. Okay, now there are some useful apps you can use. Uh, I listed here. First, you can <laughs> cats at Changi. <laughs> cats at Changi is an app that shows you what are the what are the uh, the number of flights that are coming in at which terminal, how many taxis currently in queue. This wow. gives you an informed choice. Whether you want to join the queue, Friday night 6.30, 6 p.m., 145 taxi, not a lot, because that terminal too, a lot, a lot. Over time to come, you will learn better, because they basically tell you within the next hour, there's 11 flight coming in. Uh, so you will know, so as you learn more, I Changi app, app tell you specifically how many taxis, uh, how many uh, flights are coming in at what time specifically. Okay, you know, you see a lot of Hong Kong flights, you see some China flights, but you learn specifically which terminal they are going to. Comfort Delgro app. This is a Comfort Delgro app. If subsequently you join Comfort Delgro, you can use this app. You also have a heat map in this. Zello. Zello is a walkie talkie app. So taxis, drivers, they form groups so they can talk to each other and update each other with live information. Please come to the zoo. Only 10 taxi. 50 passenger, uh, something like that. You can talk to each other live, you can use a Zello app. This is how a Zello app looks like. You can use a different, join different groups. What about Twitter? Can Twitter help you as a taxi driver? Uh, you join Twitter, you get live feed. SMRT Corporation, uh, not this one. Uh. Uh, SMRT feedback is a different group altogether. Uh. If you don't know, you go and find out. <laughs> what is SMRT feedback? Now, SMRT Corporation, what kind of information do they give you? Train breakdown. Train breakdown in Bishan. Wow, oh, you can look look at the bus stop at Bishan. Three bus stops also not enough to hold them. Ah, uh, you see, they tell you what the train disruption. If you join the uh, get the Twitter feed, LTA, LTA gives you road works, road block, tree blocking the road, where major congestion helps you avoid this this uh this this area so that it saves you. The time and all that. This is uh, how a heat map looks like. Many red areas, that means these are the areas with their high demand for taxis. Uh, next time you'll look like this. La. <laughs> huh? You see, it's got zero also. By the way, if you have been to Hong Kong, this is a very common sight in the taxis. Right? You see the taxi drivers, they have 10, 12, 13 handphones. I don't know how they manage. Yeah, they have different groups. Okay, now for our next lesson. What we're going to touch on is uh, daily notes, how to take 
Okay, daily notes, uh, how to do uh, your cost income spreadsheet. Daily notes, what does daily notes help you? Once you keep daily notes, subsequently you can learn back from your daily notes. Okay, this is the experience for yourself. You will know from time to time where are the best areas. Any question? Thank you.